has Jesus been born in our hearts? Christmas begins in God's heart and it is only complete when it reaches the heart of man. Let us see the four ways to allow Christ to be born in our hearts. Fill our home with beauty. What does that mean? A reading from Isaiah chapter 52 verses 7 to 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings announcing peace, bearing good news announcing salvation and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry, together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. Secondly, make frequent visits to the Blessed Sacrament and that will be explained from a reading from Paul's letters to the Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 6. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made heir of all things, and through whom He created the universe, who is the refulgence of His glory, the very imprint of His being, and who sustains all things by His mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the Majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me? And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of the God worship him. So let us further understand through a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him was not the light but came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came to be through him but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in His name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to Him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God, 
who is at the father's side has revealed him thirdly pray the rosary and the last and final read the bible because of christmas his love for us is no secret for the lord god does nothing without revealing a secret to his servants the prophets when the savior was born a new light appeared in the heavens he is the light of the world not just on christmas day but every day follow him and never walk in darkness again we wish you a merry christmas